10 Most Beautiful Snakes in the World. Number 10, Asian Vine Snake. This snake has an extraordinary geometric pattern to its scales. This pattern is highlighted when the snake feels threatened and expands its body, revealing the black and white between the green scales. When relaxed, the snake has what looks like a very slender, nearly all green body. This isn't its only defense. According to Reptiles Magazine, when vine snakes sense danger, they will remain motionless. But if there is a breeze, they will sway back and forth like the foliage to add to their camouflage. At other times, for reasons yet unclear if there is a threat, they will remain motionless with their tongue extended for minutes at a time. Number 9. Blue Racer Snake This beauty is a pretty rare photograph of a blue racer snake. I say rare because it's not often you get such a brilliant blue reflecting from the scales, as often they see more gray in color. The blue racer's formal name is Colliber Constrictor, but despite this, they normally simply pin their prey to the ground and swallow them alive. They are known mostly east of the Rockies, but have been seen as far south as Mexico. Number 8. Eastern Coral Snake Micrurus fulvius is one of the most beautiful of all snakes. Unfortunately, it is also very venomous, as are all coral snakes. On the good side, there are only about 15 to 20 recorded bites a year, but on the bad side, they are deadly, and soon there will be no more anti-venom for it. Pfizer has said that with such low demand, it is not worth the cost and research spent on it and current stock is due to expire at the end of this year. The snakes are forest animals living in leaf litter and brush. They flee before biting, but if you do get bitten, it is imperative you go to a doctor. Respiratory failure occurs within hours. Number 7. Green Tree Python The green tree python is known for being green, hence the name, but that isn't the only color that this species might be. Juvenile green tree pythons may be bright yellow, vibrant red, or even a very dark brown. While gorgeous in its adult coloration, the species is also stunning when it's young and going through color changes. The individual shown here is in the yellow phase, with brown spots that make it look a bit like a ripening banana. As they mature, the pythons will usually change color to a variation of green or blue. However, some green tree pythons will keep that yellow coloration for their lives. Number 6. Iridescent Shield Tail The only reason this lovely is not in the top 3 is that it is hard to see exactly how beautiful she is from this photograph, but she is actually even more gorgeous than she appears. She has to be one of the most beautiful snakes in the world. The Iridescent Shield Tail, Melanophidium bilaneatum, is not well known. Only three specimens are thought to have ever been caught and little is known of how it behaves in the wild. Recently, some more have been seen, but all that can be said for certain is that it's beautiful and rare. Number 5. Red-Headed Crate The red-headed crate is a highly venomous snake which inhibits forested hills, lower areas below 400 meters of elevation. It is mostly found in the southern part of Thailand. The red-headed crate grows up to 6.9 feet. The beauty of this snake is personified in the form of its bright orange red head with pale body and short reddish tail. Number 4. Formosan Odd-Scaled Snake Another snake species that shimmers with rainbow iridescence is the Formosan Odd-Scaled Snake. This is one of several species of odd-scaled snake, all of which have this same iridescent effect in their scales. The Formosan Odd-Scaled Snake is found in Taiwan and the southern islands of Japan. It is harmless to humans and spends its time hunting worms, frogs, and other small prey. The species is nocturnal, but put it under light and its whole body dances with color. Number 3. Honduran Milk Snake The Honduran Milk Snake is an egg-laying species of non-venomous colubrid snake. Its base color is red with distinct rings or bands of black and yellow. In some cases, the yellow is actually a deep orange color. 
and the animal in question is referred to as a tangerine phase. The Honduran milk snake has a resemblance to the coral snake, and this similarity in color, known as Batesian mimicry, helps protect the snake from potential predators. Number 2. Brazilian Rainbow Boa The trait that stands out the most in this boa species is the iridescent shimmer of its scales. Glistening over the brown and black patterns is a sheen of rainbow colors, which show up under light. According to the National Zoo, the iridescent sheen imparted by microscopic ridges on their scales act like prisms to refract light into rainbows. Found throughout Central and South America, there are nine subspecies of rainbow boa, including the Brazilian rainbow boa shown now. Considering their unusual beauty, it's no wonder that these large snakes, which can sometimes reach up to seven feet in length, are popular in the pet trade. In the 1980s, hundreds of Brazilian rainbow boas were removed from the wild and exported for sale. Many of the individuals did not survive the process, spurring conservation-friendly captive breeding programs available today. Number 1. San Francisco Garter Snake Some people consider the San Francisco Garter Snake to be the most beautiful species in the world. That is, of course, subjective, but it's a stunningly beautiful snake. Known for the bright turquoise stripes that run alongside deep coral and black, the snake is a sight to behold. Unfortunately, it's also an exceedingly rare sight. This snake is on the endangered species list, with perhaps as few as 1,000 to 2,000 adults remaining on Earth. South America, the nation of Guyana on the northeast coast, boasts one of the largest unspoiled stretches of rainforest on the continent, home to a giant, almost legendary reptile. The biggest and heaviest snake on earth, the green anaconda. Its enormous size and grisly attacks have given it a bad reputation. The floodplains, swamps and rivers east of the Andes are its home, and water its element. Its secretive ways make this silent killer an enigma. Anacondas kill by literally squeezing the life out of their victims. This deadly embrace is one of the strongest known on Earth. It's like nine people standing on your chest. It may be a horrific way to die, but for this scaly predator, the technique is a proven success. Constriction is one of the oldest hunting methods among snakes. And the anaconda has been a master at it for at least 20 million years. An enormous monster lives among the people of Georgetown, and they have no idea it's there. It seems unlikely such large creatures could remain unnoticed, but anacondas have found secret sanctuaries in the urban jungle. Water ditches are a convenient hangout. As night falls, a stealth assassin is on the loose. In fact, the city offers an easy life. There's plenty of food walking the streets. A dog is just the right size for a snack. You just have to know where to find it. Anacondas may have a trick to seek prey in the dark. They can sense their body heat. Almost every organism has its own heat signature. Although a snake wouldn't see a picture like that of a thermal camera, it could enable it to target victims accurately. 
Hunting at night allows the anaconda's deadly activities to go widely unnoticed by its human neighbors. And the menu isn't restricted to man's best friend. The good thing about living near people is their livestock. Being super flexible and extraordinarily strong means no obstacle is too big or too small. Testing the air with its forked tongue, the predator seeks out its prey. For the chicken, escape is futile. The struggle is brief. As the anaconda's body winds itself around the hapless bird, its embrace becomes tighter and tighter until the chicken dies from asphyxiation. City life offers a few comfortable but risky places to warm up. In the cool of the night, a car engine can be a heavenly place for an anaconda. They love the warmth. Around 81 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit is ideal. They tolerate a little less at night, but still, a warm niche is like a magnet for them. It's likely to be a nasty surprise for its human owner. As day breaks, the cityscape transforms. Lotus flowers enchant. They were first brought to Guyana from India and have spread like wildfire in canals and ponds. The land here lies below sea level, so the ground drains poorly and there's plenty of standing water. Perfect anaconda habitat. The thick forest of lotus flowers and leaves is also home to small creatures that make ideal baby food for young anacondas. This one is still less than three feet long and just a few months old, but already a killer. Many young anacondas don't survive long. There are wild cats, stray dogs, or simply urban traffic to contend with. A more hostile habitat for anacondas is found along the coastline where the river meets the sea. Mangroves thrive in sweltering conditions, rooted in choking mud, and tolerate salt levels that would kill ordinary plants. The giant snakes have found a way to survive here, right in the thick of tangled mangrove roots. Everyone here has to be exceptionally tolerant to an ever-changing environment. Twice a day, the tide floods the mangroves, then leaves them high and dry. It triggers a changing of the guards. A different set of animals emerge. Crabs come out of hiding and patrol the roots. A young speckled caiman squelches through the mud, looking for food. Unaware, he's being watched. The killer waits patiently for the perfect moment to strike. An anaconda's hunting success depends on split-second timing and speed. Caught in the snake's 
deadly coils. The last breath is squeezed out of the Cayman's body. Where mangroves have given way to the unpredictable human thirst for terra firma, a new landscape emerges, sugarcane plantations. A different sort of forest that draws a sizable crowd of new creatures. And where there's food, there are anacondas. This quick-legged iguana is being stalked. Distracted by food, it lets its vigilance slide. A fatal error. Death comes quickly. But eating the prize is a slow affair. Even a small meal like this takes around 30 minutes to swallow. Life in the fields is a double-edged sword for the anaconda. During harvest time, the fields are set on fire to burn dry leaves and flush out unwanted critters. Miles of lush green go up in smoke. Animals desperately try to get away from the hellish inferno, but many succumb to the flames. The anaconda's cumbersome bodies are sluggish and awkward on land. Too slow to escape the fire. Were it not for numerous drainage ditches, they can sit out the blaze safe in their water world. Anacondas are, in fact, extremely versatile. Even in their traditional home ranges on the savanna, the extremes of wet and dry seasons force them to be adaptable. During the wet season, the savanna is flooded and lush, supporting a rich diversity of life. Giant Amazon water lilies dot the water. They're native to the shallow waters of the Amazon basin and boast dramatic flowers nearly a foot across. Although the leaves are delicate, they can easily support this young 40-pound anaconda. A network of strong air-filled ribs supports each leaf. They can carry weights of 99 pounds. Tough, pointy spikes keep fish at bay. It's a great perch. The skittish youngster can disappear into the water at a moment's notice. But this watery Eden is only temporary. The dry season puts a brutal end to it, and life without water is unthinkable for an anaconda. This anaconda is seeking shelter in a damp mud hole to wait out the return of the rains. Others leave the parched heat in search of water. They migrate to wetter climes for the duration of the dry season. 
But as the last pools dry up, progress becomes increasingly difficult. Caked in mud, this anaconda is effectively blind. Raising her body and flicking her forked tongue, the giant snake gathers scents. When the tongue is pulled back, it skims the sensitive Jacobson's organ on the roof of her mouth, which analyzes the information and helps her find her way. Her journey is fraught with dangers. Bushfires are frequent, and the monster snake's massive body is not built for speed on dry land. Her situation is precarious. Only the lucky can escape this merciless blaze. The dry season ignites bushfires across the landscape. Dangerous hurdles for this anaconda. She fights her way through the blaze and is rewarded for her efforts. She finally finds relief in a permanent waterhole. It looks like a good place to survive the dry season. The sun continues to ruthlessly beat down on the savanna, and even the last reserves of water disappear. An anaconda caught out on the parched plains is in a dire situation. The largest anacondas are slow and sluggish on land. It means traveling far is out of the question. More than 20 feet long and weighing in at more than 220 pounds, this anaconda is a true monster. But she's fallen victim to the aggressive assault of the dry season. Even a majestic predator like this has weaknesses. The relentless heat of the sun takes its toll. Did this anaconda's colossal size help seal her fate? A huge feast like this soon attracts visitors. Nature's waste disposal units. what may have been the giant snake's downfall. Her skeleton. An anaconda's endless thin rows of ribs provide a delicate scaffold for such a heavy body. It allows them to be extremely stretchy and flexible. Anaconda's lungs and vital organs stretch almost a quarter of her length. So breathing in this heavy body becomes more difficult on land. It may be that very large anacondas need to live in permanent water to support their hefty bodies. In fact, the largest anacondas don't live on the savanna with its tough seasonal climate. 
They live in the rivers dissecting the rainforest, where they're not controlled by the seasons, and can bask in the sun on accessible riverbanks. Arranging their bulk in coils helps support their own weight. The forest and its rivers offer rich pickings for an anaconda. As opportunists, they'll eat anything they can overpower. The sheer diversity of life is staggering. including competitors. And enemies. Out here on the river, the hunter can quickly become the hunted. In these parts, letting your concentration slip could be the last mistake you'll ever make. Black caiman roam the waters. Up to 20 feet long and weighing around 660 pounds, they are the biggest living members of the alligator family and the largest predator in the Amazon. Guyana boasts one of the biggest populations of large black caiman, more than 11 feet in length. There is a strict hierarchy at work. The bigger the caiman, the higher the rank. Their biting power is immense, enough to crush bones and sever limbs. And if need be, their powerful tails can propel them far enough out of the water to snatch prey from its perch. Strong, armored skin protects their backs from attack. Black caiman are built like reinforced submarines. Formidable tough and well-armed. Compared to this river monster, the smooth, soft body of an anaconda doesn't stand a chance. The anaconda's jaws are lined with more than a hundred rows of needle-like, backward-facing teeth designed to strike and keep hold of prey long enough put its deadly coils to use. The black caiman's teeth, on the other hand, are strong, crushing, ripping tools, perfect for hunting and killing mammals like capybaras. Capybaras are as much at home on land as in the water, but as soon as they enter the river, they attract unwanted attention. With enormous power and lightning speed, the black caiman snatches its victim. And if one hunter struggles to shred its prey, others soon join 